Sun rises early in the morning Cracking through my window Alarm clock, ignore it uh, To get a couple more minutes of sleep The same as yesterday it's running I am the dog whisperer As you can see, the beginning of this video is a little different than most We're out here with my buddy Mark As you guys know, his German Shepherd right here, Caesar. And then we got Ziva and Kobe and so we're out here just chilling at the dog park. Well, not really the dog park. We made it into the dog park. And we're just walking them right now, getting some exercise. But as you can see by the title of the video, it has nothing to do with dogs. <laughs> we're going to be talking about calories in versus calories out and how exercise and diet go hand in hand. So this video is really just going to be talking about how there's tons of different ways to actually exercise and tons of different um, time variants, tons of different exercises you can actually do. And really, it's just about finding that something that works for you and that you enjoy doing and that you can stay consistent with. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that once we get the dogs back to the house here. But um, I'll talk to you guys then and we can go a little bit more in depth about this. All right. We were staying in Paris to get away from your parents. And I thought, wow, if I could take this in a shot right now, I don't think that we could work this out out on the terrace. So kind of a bit of a change of plans. Um, I know I was going to talk to you guys when I was back at Mark's house, but I ended up going right home. So I'm about to have some uh, eggs and some bacon and then toast. And then I'm going to head to the gym. So at the gym, I'm going to show you guys a workout edit from my back day I'm doing today. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But before then, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about the topic of this video. So basically the point of me making this video doesn't really have to do with a lot of the normal viewers that I typically am talking to about the bodybuilding, powerlifting, more of the typical niche fitness realm, if you will. This is more for the general population. <clears throat> so kind of my point being here is that this video could help you if you're my typical viewers, but a lot of people who are watching this are probably new to my channel, and I'm glad. Um, my name is Joe Anklum. Um, I'm a personal trainer, and if you are familiar with the channel, thank you for watching and clicking on the video as always, and if you're new, thank you for clicking as well. But the point like I'm trying to make through this video is that you don't have to do one specific way um, of exercising and expect to only get results with that one specific way because the real name of the game is just getting um, to burn more calories or burn an equal amount of calories um, that you're eating in the day. So depending on your goals, if you're someone who's trying to bulk up, you're obviously going to be wanting to eat more calories, eating in a caloric surplus to put on that weight um, above the amount of calories that you're burning throughout the day. And that can be burning calories through your job, if you're someone who's a construction worker or someone like me who's a personal trainer, you're going to be burning a lot more calories throughout the day. If you're someone who's a teacher, if you're someone who's someone more sedentary or someone even in between, you're going to have a lot less calories burned throughout the day. But that doesn't mean that you aren't going to be burning calories throughout your workout. And that is where what I'm kind of segueing into when it comes to working out. So the place I work out at um, and work at is called Body by Design. If you guys have seen my Instagram, you've seen me um, do videos there. It's the lime green place. You've also seen videos on here. So that is where I work. And we have 30-minute sessions, 45-minute sessions, hour sessions. And you can even purchase longer if you want. But that's the most common. And we have people who come once per week, three times per week, up to five times per week. And it really just all depends. But I have clients who are coming only one time per week. And they're having just as much success as someone who comes maybe only um, maybe three times per week, not only, but comes three times per week versus that one person who does only come once per week. And that person only comes once a week, could be making more progress and has in the past, with a couple examples, more progress in the long haul than that person who's coming three times per week. And this can be a ton of different variables as to the reasons why. They could be adhering to their diet a little bit more, sticking to their macros. They could be working out more consistently outside of the time that they're with me. But I can tell you that usually that isn't the case. A lot of times these people are only getting in maybe one other workout per week and that can be just a 20 minute workout on top of their 30 minute workout. So they're really working out 50 minutes per week on top of eating more consistently with the specific macros I set them up with. So 
that's kind of my point with this, and I'm going to go a little bit more in depth with this after my workout, but I kind of wanted to get you guys a feel for what I'm talking about and the reason why I'm talking about it, because my point here is that you can find something that you enjoy doing that gets you moving, gets you burning calories, that doesn't have to be specific to everyone else and what they like doing. And the reason why I say this is because you're going to adhere to something more sustainably for the long haul that you enjoy than something that you're being forced to do. So obviously there's different types of people and there's different types of mindsets that come when it comes to working out. But my point is you have to figure out what works for you. And until you find that out, you really want to make sure that you aren't forcing yourself to do things that you aren't going to be able to maintain in the long haul. So kind of find what works for you. Um, and like I said, we're going to talk a little bit more after the workout, I'm about to go eat some breakfast here, and then I'm gonna be chilling for a little bit, let that digest, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. So I'm gonna start the workout edit in three, two, one, and here we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout and hopefully you guys are anticipating what I'm talking about and what I'm continuing talking about and um, it kind of are getting what I was talking about earlier. I'm going to have some food to eat by the way. I'm going to eat some chicken stir fry which I like to make with jasmine rice and veggies that I get super cheap which are frozen, throw it all in a wok and then I kind of mix that up and then I kind of put this away and I can have about four or five meals from it. So. That's kind of what I'm going to be making, kind of a random side note, but the point, like I said, of this video is to tell you guys that finding a way that works for you in terms of burning calories is what really is going to make the big difference when you're trying to put yourself in that deficit. So to kind of explain it again for you guys, you're going to need to put yourself in a deficit of calories from your maintenance. So finding your maintenance is pretty easy. I'm going to pretty much explain how to find your macros and how to kind of figure that out. So it's going to be a brief. Um, kind of overview, but it's gonna help you out in the long run. So like I said, you're gonna start out by figuring out what you're actually doing throughout the day and how many calories you're actually burning. So 
if you're a construction worker or someone like that, you're obviously gonna be burning more calories. So you pick a number between 10 and 15. So 10 would be someone who's sitting all day. Someone who's sitting at a desk job for eight hours a day, doesn't get much activity at all. Someone who's on a 15 is gonna be someone, a personal trainer, a construction worker, someone who's doing a ton of exercise and not necessarily exercise, but doing just a ton of work and moving a ton throughout the day, picking up things, doing sort different sort of tasks based on the job. So that's kind of how you pick it. And then you kind of put yourself in between that scale based on who you are and what you do. So from there, you're gonna take your body weight and you're gonna multiply it between by one of those numbers. So 10, between 10 and 15. Then you're gonna take that number that you get and that's gonna be your maintenance level of calories. So maintenance, like I said earlier, is just gonna be the amount of calories you're gonna to need to maintain the same weight that you're at right now in body composition, body fat, everything. So with that being said, after you find that maintenance level of calories, you're either going to put yourself in that deficit of calories. I wouldn't recommend anything over 500 calorie deficit just to start out because you don't want to put yourself in too big of a deficit because you're going to kind of shock your body and also it's going to be very hard to maintain if you're eating a lot, a lot less than you're used to. So start out slow, take it slow and especially if you're trying to maintain muscle mass, you're going to make sure that you're, or you're going to want to make sure, excuse me, that you are taking it slow so that you're maintaining the muscle mass that you work so hard to get. So after that, you're gonna either put yourself, like I said, in the deficit of calories or into a surplus if you're trying to bulk. So this is for people who are trying to put on muscle. So you're gonna need to make sure that you are putting on a little bit of calories from your maintenance to make sure that you're in a surplus to make sure that protein synthesis is happening. When it comes to lifting weights, you have to balance out muscle breakdown, which is what's happening when you're lifting, the actual soreness you're getting, that's muscle breakdown, with protein synthesis, the actual act of repairing that muscle. So those have to go hand in hand. If protein synthesis is higher, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be feeling anabolic, as you hear a lot of people say. If protein synthesis is lower than muscle breakdown, you're gonna make sure that you're gonna wanna switch that because that means you're catabolic and you're gonna be losing that muscle mass. So in order to make sure that this is happening, you need to adequately um, supplement your diet with enough protein I recommend between a pound of protein, or excuse me, a gram of protein per pound of body weight. And there's tons of different ways um, you can approach this because there's a ton of different studies that suggest more protein or less protein is sufficient, and it all depends upon your goals. So if you're someone who is trying to maintain the, the, the muscle mass that you're at, I would recommend, if you're in a deficit, going for a gram of protein per pound of lean body weight. So lean meaning not your fat, so your muscle mass, lean body mass. The point is here, you're gonna to wanna to maintain that muscle mass through the deficit by hitting that protein. If you're someone who is not really concerned as much about maintaining that muscle mass, you can get away with maybe even 0.5 to 0.8 per pound, um, uh, grams per pound of body weight. So I know I'm kinda of rambling on here guys, but my point is from that maintenance level of calories, that's where you kind of start yourself and you put yourself in the goal and in the, the, the caloric goal that you want to be in because if you're someone who's not tracking at all and you have no sort of sense of what you're actually putting in your body in terms of um, a calorie number um, and even macronutrient wise more specifically it's really just a guessing game and you're taking stabs in the dark so kind of pinpoint that start tracking use my fitness pal which is a great app make yourself familiar with it type in your statistics for it and have the app help you and use it wisely because that is gonna make a huge difference in just finding out what you're actually gonna be intaking throughout the day and that'll help you kind of realize what you need to be doing um, to get better on track towards your goals. So one other thing I wanted to mention guys is that macronutrient wise, if you ever hear me say macros or macronutrients, that's talking about carbs, fats, and proteins. So carbs, fats, and proteins guys make up your calorie goal. So everyone always asks me, a lot of my clients always ask me, should I hit my calorie goal or should I hit my macronutrient goal? And I have to explain to them, your macronutrient goals, if they're on point, they're gonna be on point with your calorie goal because your macronutrients, that profile makes up your calories. So um, for protein and carbs, those are the two that are the same. For every um, calorie you're actually getting in, um, uh, excuse me, for every gram of carbs and for every gram of protein you're getting in, you're getting four calories from that gram. Um, fats the oddball out which is a little bit higher in calories so for every gram of fat you're getting nine calories from that so that's how you can kind of understand someone who's giving you a calorie um, goal 
it can be eaten a hundred different ways. You could eat 2,000 calories with all fat. Um, obviously, it'd be very difficult. You have to eat a lot of candy bars. But my point is, the macronutrients is a very essential portion to the calorie goal. So, if you are struggling with this, if you have any questions, guys, feel free to contact me. Um, but this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you. If you are still watching, please drop a like if you did enjoy this. And like I said, guys, please feel free to message me if you have questions, if you want me to help you kind of get this set up a little bit more thoroughly. Or if you are interested in coaching, please feel free to email me and I can give you more information on that as well. So I really um, just try to make this as informative as possible. And um, I think this is a topic that could reach a little bit um, wider of an audience. So I hope that that is the case. And I hope that that you guys enjoy this video and this style of video. Um, try to incorporate a little bit more um, just lifestyle kinds of things and show you guys a little bit more about myself. So thank you for watching once again. And thank you for um, editing and um, for filming a little bit. Um, Mark, I appreciate it. And um, I know he's watching this at some point. But yeah, thank you guys. I will talk to you very soon. Please drop a like and please subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.